Columbia, also known as Nunra and Hudson Land, was one of Earth's ancient supercontinents. It was first proposed by Rogers and Amp, Santosh 2002 and is thought to have existed approximately 2.5 to 1.6 billion years ago in the Paleoprotozoic era. Zhao et al. 2002 proposed that the assembly of the supercontinent Columbia was completed by global scale collisional events during 2.1 to 1.8 Ga. Columbia consisted of protocratins that made up the cores of the continents of Laurentia, Baltica, Ukrainian Shield, Amazonian Shield, Australia, and possibly Siberia, North China, and Calavaria as well. The evidence of Columbia's existence is based upon geological and paleomagnetic data, size and location. Columbia is estimated to have been about 12,900 kilometers from north to south and about 4,800 kilometers across at its broadest part. The eastern coast of India was attached to western North America, with southern Australia against western Canada. In this era most of South America was rotated such that the western edge of modern-day Brazil lined up with eastern North America, forming a continental margin that extended into the southern edge of Scandinavia. Assembly Columbia was assembled along global scale 2.1 to 1.8 Ga collisional origins and contained almost all of Earth's continental blocks. According to Zhao et al. 2002, the cratonic blocks in South America and West Africa were welded by the 2.1 to 2.0 Ga trans-Amazonian and Ebernian origins. The carp in Zimbabwe cratins in Southern Africa were collided along the sea. 2.0 Ga Limpopo Belt. The cratonic blocks of Laurentia were sutured along the 1.9 to 1.8 Ga Trans Hudson, Panakin, Taltsin, the Lon, Watme, Hungava, Torngat, and Nagshug Turkadain origins. The Kola, Karelia, Volgo Uralia, and Sarmatia Kratins in Baltica were joined by the 1.9 to 1.8 Ga Kola, Karelia, Svekofenian, Volan. Central Russian, and Pachelma origins, the Anabar and Alden Kratins in Siberia were connected by the 1.9 to 1.8 Gara Kitkan and Central Alden origins. The East Antarctica and an unknown continental block were joined by the Transantarctic Mountains origin. The South and North Indian blocks were amalgamated along the Central Indian tectonic zone, and the Eastern and Western blocks of the North China Kratin were welded together by the sea. 1.85 Ga Trans North China Origin Outgrowth Following its final assembly at sea, 1.8 Ga, the supercontinent Columbia underwent long-lived subduction-related growth via accretion at key continental margins, forming a 1.8 to 1.3 Ga great magmatic accretionary belt along the present-day southern margin of North America, Greenland, and Baltica. It includes the 1.8 to 1.7 Ga Yavapai central plain and Makovician belts, 1.7 to 1.6 Ga Mazathal and Labradorian belts, 1.5 to 1.3 Ga Street, Francois and Spavinor belts, and 1.3 to 1.2 Ga Elzevirian belt in North America, the 1.8 to 1.7 Ga Catalidian belt in Greenland, and the 1.8 to 1.7 Transcandinavian Ignatius. 1.7 to 1.6 Ga Kongsberg Gwyn Gothian Belt and 1.5 to 1.3 Ga Southwest Sweden Granitoid Belt in Baltica. Other cratonic blocks also underwent marginal outgrowth at about the same time. In South America, a 1.8 to 1.3 Ga accretionary zone occurs along the western margin of the Amazonia Craton represented by the Rio Negro, Juruana, and Randonian belts. In Australia, 1.8 to 1.5 Ga accretionary magmatic belts, including the Aronta, Mount Isa, Georgetown, Cohen, and Broken Hill belts. 
occur surrounding the southern and eastern margins of the North Australia Kraton and the eastern margin of the Gola Kraton. In China, a 1.8 to 1.4 gar accretionary magmatic zone, called the Zhongha Belt, extends along the southern margin of the North China Kraton. Fragmentation Columbia began to fragment about 1.6 gar ago associated with continental rifting along the western margin of Laurentia, eastern India, southern margin of Boltka, southeastern margin of Siberia, northwestern margin of South Africa, and northern margin of the North China Block. The fragmentation corresponded with widespread anorogenic magmatic activity, forming an orthocid mandrite charnakite granite suites in North America, Baltica, Amazonia, and North China, and continued until the final breakup of the supercontinent at about 1.3 to 1.2 Ga, marked by the emplacement of the 1.27 Ga Mackenzie and 1.24 Ga Sudbury Mafich Dykes forms in North America. Configuration In the initial configuration of Rogers and Santosh, South Africa, Madagascar, India, Australia, and attached parts of Antarctica are placed adjacent to the western margin of North America, whereas Greenland, Baltica, and Siberia are positioned adjacent to the northern margin of North America and South America is placed against West Africa. In the same year, Zhao et al proposed an alternative configuration of Colombia, in which the fits of Baltica and Siberia with Laurentia and the fit of South America with West Africa are similar to those of the Rogers and Santosh configuration, whereas the fits of India, East Antarctica and Australia with Laurentia are similar to the corresponding fits in the configuration of Rodinia. This continental configuration is based on the available geological Logical reconstructions of 2.1 to 1.8 Gar origins and related Archean cratonic blocks, especially on those reconstructions between South America versus West Africa, Western Australia versus South Africa, Laurentia versus Baltica, Siberia versus Laurentia, Laurentia versus Central Australia, East Antarctica versus Laurentia, and North China versus India. Of these reconstructions, the fits of Baltica and Siberia with Laurentia, South America with West Africa, and Southern Africa with Western Australia are also consistent with paleomagnetic data. The new configuration of the Columbia supercontinent was reconstructed by Guiding Who based on the reconstruction of giant radiating dike swarms.